<laughs> like that dog. Here we go. Got him. Get the net. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> We've made it. It's time to go catch some donks. Good morning, wieners. Welcome back. We're out here in West Texas. Doing a little bit of dibba dangling. Got some boys with us here. Got a new face. Got Braxton here. First time meeting you. Yes, sir. Finally got a chance. Braxton, you fished with Cole how many times? Was it the first time yesterday? Yeah, first time. First, first time, yeah. So I've heard a lot about Braxton. He fishes this lake a lot. He actually had probably what? Arguably your best bass day ever? Yeah. For, for size? Days, yeah. yeah, he caught two double digits, a 10 and an 11. I wasn't there to witness it, but this Jimmy up here was, and I, it looks like he found my pretzels, which is great. Yeah. We got Cole on the boat, and we've also got Caleb filming today's episode. We're just gonna see if we can go wreck some heads. For whatever reason, Texas just does not want to warm up for us. So, yeah, figured that was gonna happen. That's what I'm here for. Epic, bro, epic. Brent, throw me another. Throw me another one. <laughs> a little bit closer to the mouth. Yeah, there we go. Right. <laughs> We're out here just mucking it up. Weather's still freezing cold in Texas. It's like mid 30s, high 30s this morning, but it's not gonna stop these fish from eating. We got three guys in the boat fishing. I think it's gonna be good. I'm pretty stoked. If I can get this boat out of this cove, that'd be a miracle. But once we do that, we're gonna start casting, see if we can get some big old pre-spawners and uh, <laughs> reckon we'll go wreck some heads. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and uh, we'll get to it. Pre-spawn bass and let's get it. I was like, oh, they probably got him on the swim bait. Please, I'm not kidding. You're cleaning all that up. He gets so grumpy in the morning. You want to judge? You're putting it in there. What are you throwing today? Uh, that big thing. Oh, nice. What are you throwing today? Uh, this big thing. <laughs> What are you throwing today? Uh, I think I might throw this around today. <laughs> I hate to say this, and you guys are probably so sick of me tossing this thing around. The cheetah rig, the umbrella rig, the A-rig, whatever you want to call it. But it's still cold. Temperatures are still in the mid 40s, the high 40s. The water temperature, that is. They are not even thinking about spawning, especially in these West Texas lakes. We're going to do what we know how to do best for winter fishing, and that is throw an A-rig. going to incorporate some big swim baits, too. I got this, Jimmy, right here. But if you're a big swim bait angler, you know what this is. So right here's a hinkle shed. It's like the holy grail when it comes to big swim baits. We're gonna see if we can get a big dog on the hinkle. I've yet to even crease this thing yet, so I'm really excited to throw this around. Big swim baits, jerk baits, A rigs. All right, enough talk, let's go crank. All right, heads up. I'm not paying attention. There's a giant bass right there. Holy hell. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> like that dog. There we go. Got him. Easy. It's a giant. Get, out of here. Get, Get the net. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! That's what's up, boys. Good morning. Dude. Welcome to West Texas, baby. Dude. That took no time at all. No. I had a feeling y'all said it was on. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we came out here, boys. Dude, good job, man. Thank that's you. Giant. Thank you. Dude, that's five DD. Let's go, baby. I know. I know. <laughs> y'all said they were on. I'm like, let's go, baby. I'm. I did not sleep last night. Stayed up with the baby and oh, she's been caught before. Is this y'all's fish? Oh my is. god, it might be. <laughs> Look it at that. This, Dude, I think it is. This might be my fifth double digit of the season. And it might be the one you caught yesterday, dude. dude. Look at that right there. Dude, it might. That's why I yanked it out. Do you dude. remember the exact weight yeah. of both your fish? 11.03. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm absolutely shaking right now, boys. Oh yeah. 10.56. Or 10, 10 six. 10 pounder, boys. Yo, First wow. fish of the day is a freaking Yo. 10 pounder. <laughs> These boys had an epic day yesterday, and I'm like, screw it, we're driving an hour and a half west, and we're gonna see if we can get on a similar bite. That is an enormous fish. My fifth double digit of the season on none other than the saucy swimmers. A little over like 24 and a quarter inches, 10 pounder. Wow, 
Texas grows them big, man. That's why I moved here. These big old gluttonous looking fish. Got everything. That's stupid. <laughs> Gotta snag some pictures and send you back. Thank you. Thank you boys too for having me out here. This is so sick. Time to send Bessie back. The crazy thing about this is this fish has a hook mark that is not mine. And that is a testament as to why catch and release is so important. And that's one of the reasons why I'm such an advocate in catching these fish, capturing them, showing you guys on video and doing it through photos on the gram and then putting them back. We're gonna send this fish right back where we caught her. Fourth or fifth double digit of the season. Wow. Absolute beaut. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Let's go, boys. And it's just getting started. Number two, baby. Is it a black bass? Yeah, black bass. I just put it in the tail. <laughs> the top of the head. Back. Thought it was big, but I just, uh, yeah, put it in the back. Things where you thought it was? Ow. Never hooked in my hand. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you, uh, put a bass in the back. Conservation. I like the spinal cord. Yeah. Poor guy. First fish of the day for me. Not as big as John's 10, but you know. Take it. Hi, class. What's that? It's like the. It's like what? Good one? Oh my god. Good one? You were sneaking. No way. Good one? Keep reeling. You got this. Talk to me, right? Even that? Oh, it's a good one. Is that a good one? It's not a bad one. <laughs> Dude, that That's crazy. Okay. That's so sick. Uh, I threw it about three miles out there. <laughs> On the way down, she ate her. I thought it was another. Big yeah. <laughs> well, this eight foot rod, for God's sakes, doubled over. I'm sorry. Oh, dude, I Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. He's right under you. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. He's on it. He's... There's two on you. Did you get hit? Dude, I think I saw the fish that just like, hit you. I, I saw the fish that hit you. Couple things. That's a big fish. I don't know if it's a bass or what. That's a big fish. Oh, got dude, I just got clapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You, dude, that, you got me good. I, I thought you actually got bit, too, because I was oh, like... Oh, dude, that ain't cool. Did you call that? Animal. Aminal. I'm over here getting rigged up. Braxton's fucked up on one. It's a little bigger than John's, but like, I don't know. One of them buck baskets. That, you know what that fish is looking for? It's looking for mine. <laughs> exactly. It's looking for a big old girthy one to mate with. It's been a good day so far. This tends to happen. Like the first 30 minutes of fishing, we get a really big one. You know, my biggest bass is gonna be in that 14 in, what was that, January, Kale? Yeah. It was the end of January. It was in like the first 30 minutes. Here, first 30 minutes. Something to be said about that. You know, that first hour of daylight's really, really good, and uh, just madness can happen. You know, our first fish of the day was a tent. Like what? But anyway, we've we've been working the steep bank, scoping out some of these fish. I've had a lot of really big fish fall. Like we've seen maybe a couple more that are about the same size. They're just not really committing. So with that being said, I'm switching up the saucies. Normally I like to go with the green gizzard, 3.8 inch. If you guys want to pick some of these up, use the code John B right here to save 10% off. Saucy swimmers and everything on the Guggen Squad website. I'll leave that link down below. The 3.8 inch saucy swimmer and the green gizzard is what got that fish. So I'm a little reluctant to change it up, but I'm seeing a bit of hesitancy with these fish. So we're gonna switch to an all white 3.8 and we're gonna throw a electric shad 4.8 on the back. So we'll kind of offset the colors, all white 3.8s and then one electric shad 4.8. It's a good tip if you do a little bit of A-rig fishing. You know, it's a big smallmouth thing in Lake Michigan and those Northern lakes, a lot of guys do that. So I'm gonna try this out. Maybe we'll get the fish to commit. Something's not right. And if you're seeing fish fall, 
you're not getting bites, change it up, change colors, change size, change cadence, real faster, real slower. I think I need to be rolling it faster as well. But dude, can't complain, fifth double digit of the season. It's just, it's awesome to be here with these guys to share the experience, but we're gonna tweak some stuff around a bit and see if maybe that helps. I didn't feel a single thing. Got him? It's a 10. It's a 10. You got a 10, dog. That one. You good? Hell <laughs> 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 yeah, brother. <laughs> nice. Oh, Striper. Nice one, too. Win it. Win it. Says no. Win it. He oh, says yes. no. Look at that. <laughs> MLBs. Okay, here we go. Striper incoming. Oh, they're all over me. Oh god. That's a striper. That's a bass. Myself, that's a striper. It's a big one too. Downside of throwing A rigs out here. They're fun, but they're not fun when you're looking for DDs. 10 points on that dive. Well, John just got done saying how difficult it is. These fish, they're, they're there, but they're not really biting. Yesterday, caught them pretty good, and then today, <laughs> it's been a little tough. I caught one pretty good. Granted, granted, we started off the day with 10. It's hard to beat that for sure, but kind of what we've been seeing is these fish are hanging out around docks or like big boulders and they're just waiting for some big ball of bait to come out and pop them. But I don't know, we've rolled it over a bunch of big fish today and they're just not, not wanting it today. But I don't know, what do you what do you think, John? What's the move here? I think we gotta wait for that bite window. You guys what caught them at like 1 p.m.? One, yeah. So, it's, it's a See ya. Closer, brother. Yes sir, do it again. good fish. Yes. Yes. Good to meet you. Yes, just an absolute hammer jumping off the boat right now. Well, we just said farewell to Brax. Absolute legend. Super nice him to tag along with us. He's a hammer. He's a stick. The 10 pounders don't happen unless we all come together. All the great minds. Got a, well, a couple of great minds. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Cole, I like Cole. He's okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're not done that, right? We're, we're still fishing? We're going to keep fishing, never stop, baby. We're going to in a couple more. I mean, I've caught one. <laughs> fish today literally feels like the 14 pound day but you know literally like no complaints i'm not trying to you know moan but it, it is wild to have a fish like that and then really nothing else to be fair though we are out here head hunting we're looking for giants so we're not really going to go up and rip jerk baits around look for small fish we're specifically staying in that 20 to 15 foot zone looking for big bass that are pre-spawn that are staging up and that are looking to uh grub up before things get a little little too warm it's cold weather it's good for the bait let me meet you guys in the next spot oh my gosh dude they're all over me oh it just got broken off no yeah i don't know i'm not really sure man i hope that was a striper that was a big fish whatever it was <laughs> Big point, there's a school fish. They could have been striped bass, but they also could have been largemouth. Broke me off clean. Kids, always check your knots. That was a $40 rig. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, this one's coming for it. Oh, I just had him. Good bass. He's back. Please be a largemouth. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a nice largey. It's a good large bow. Just came on then. It's been a while since I got bit. Yeah. Good fish too. 
saw us about a sec. I thought it was a striper, honestly. They are right on that corner. Damn, man. It took quite some time since I had a reaction like that. You know, we may be kind of creeping into a nice little light window there. That was pretty insane. Right over there is where the dock line is. And right under the dock line was like three or four fish, all of which came up and checked it. I missed the one and another one came up and grabbed it, hooked him, it was about a six pounder, dumped him. I'm like, way to go, Jimmy. And then I noticed on my graph, there was still one right under the boat. So I threw back in there. That one of the boat actually chased out and grabbed it again. So I had an opportunity to two really nice fish there. And, uh, you know, as I say, I fumbled the bag, but it's all good. It's good to see him eating at the very least. And it wasn't like a giant, giant fish that we lost. Oh my God, he's running that towards me. That is a behemoth. Nice one, dude. Get the net. Nice one, man. Good fish. Come here. I'll just go up, up, up. She ain't that big. It's a good fish, though. Uh, Hello. About time we got bit. The craziest freaking thing about this lake and this bite right now is there's no way we'd be catching these fish without the graph. That fish, did you see that? Yeah. That That's fish was hot. that fish is, was sitting in a foot of water in 25 in a 25 foot water column. In a foot of water. He burned it over its head. Yeah, burned it over its head. It was like a kind of a half-ass cast. It's just weird like you don't like this time you don't think of fish doing that, but looking at that graph, it just kind of shows a behavior that really you didn't really wouldn't expect. That's a pretty fish. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We're going to get her unhooked and uh, send her back. Finally. <laughs> I thought I was going to get one fish today. It's going to be a 10. It's just like the last big big bass video we filmed for y'all or what did you say your guess was four four and a half 5.53 nice bass yeah. good fish good lm bezel five pounder and a uh, 10 pounder day 15 pounds two fish really pretty they're thick and healthy in here right now i'll catch you this spring sister thank you for playing see ya Oh my god, I just got absolutely pummeled. That was a nine. No boys, I'm dead serious. This is after this is happening. No, no, I swear, Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good one, dude. Oh dude, that's a giant. That's a bass. It's a giant. Like actually giant. No way, this is a bass, dude. This is a bass, man. So, you want to get the I don't know if this is a large mouth, dude. Whatever it is, it's huge. Oh, no. I lost him. It was a 12. You missed it. It was so big. Damn, I thought that was a giant bass. I mean, it is a nice striper. I gotta say that at least. Can you just settle down? I know you're green as all hell, but I really don't want to have to retie a new A-Rig. I thought that was going to be my new personal best. It came out of a tree, just like an LM Bizzle. That's a stripe, stripey Bizzle. There we have it. Big old sausage casing. Nice jalapeno sausage right there. Send her back like a GP. <laughs> Bro, you're stressing me out. They're all stripers. That really makes me sad. I thought that was a giant fish. I guess it was a giant fish. But <laughs> that was so funny. I didn't even set the hook. Oh no, it's oh, a largey! <laughs> it's actually a large mouth. Dude, this is the spot is loaded. I thought it was a striper. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I guess the key to cooking these guys is you just don't set the hook. That's a nice little two pounder. That's so crazy about this lake is the, the largemouth and the striper coexist. I literally just caught a striper right there. And that's why I thought it was a uh, a big largemouth previously because I saw these guys down there. Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> Dude, what the heck? There's a lot more down there. If they're all bass, and that's crazy. Cole, tell them what's going on. We just stumbled upon it. Like, literally, a school fish on a flat. John basically just pulled out. <laughs> John's about to pull up this clip of these glizzy shads. Here. We got this newfangled technology. It's what all the all the pro series guys are using. All the uh, elite Siri ML P guys are doing. You can record the graph real time on your phone because 
why not? Yeah, if you're right. gonna spend $5,000 on a graph, you might as well be able to, yeah. So I can watch this on VHS tonight. There's these big Bait. schools of shad being chased around, harassed, bullied by these big, largemouth bass. Is that a bass? That was my air rig. Look, <laughs> air rig's out of the water, you doinker. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're just trying to just trying to bust down on some, Let's bait. some bass. Good one? Largey? Oh, no, large They're all larges, dude. Let me get the <laughs> <laughs> Nice job. Dude, that's sick. We found the school, dude. boys. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes. 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 Got him right by this tree over here off this dock. Really? Like <laughs> no way. That's so funny because he was giving me because I thought he thought I was setting hook to a tree. I, I, Meanwhile, I, I, it was I, literally I, a school of bass all the time. I, 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 I. Also, Buddy doesn't know how to ID uh, uh, anything between a large mouth and a small mouth. Or, uh, you know what? <laughs> didn't get any sleep last night. I'm a write off. Anyways, anyways, yeah. Bass number 45. Oh, it's gonna be like that, dude. It's yeah. turning on. It's, it's happening. Get ready. Put the poles down. You got those. We can. Here. Oh my god. Just got some <laughs> Big long cast for that one. That's gotta be a striper. If it's not a striper, it's a giant bass. That's a striper. It can't be a bass. There's no way it's a large mouth. No, it's a large mouth. He's having hooked weirs. Hooked weir. Oh, uh, no, it's all good. I'll flip him. Nice, dude. We found some large mouth. Yeah. Let's go, baby. All right, you get, get the front. You get the front for a bit. We got a nice largemouth right here. Hopefully you guys got to see it on the graph. Spotted him out in uh, like 18 feet of water or something like that. Hooked him in the side. I thought it was a big striper, but it's actually a largemouth. It's very deceiving out here. There's a lot of striper and they do hang out with the, the LMBs in the tree. Look at his eyes. He's got the eyes of a 10 pounder. It's not quite the length and the girth. Thank you, buddy. Let's go. Urgent. Ooh, spots. It's a Dude. weird looking fish. Sick. That is cool. They pull in here, man. Yeah, they do. Nice fish. Whoa. Dotty. Micro Dotty. That's gnarly. It's got all angles going at the moment. Caught this wicked looking largemouth. I still don't know what causes this. I think it's something to do with the spawn or stress or something like that, but it's got a bunch of black dots on it. Really unique bass. Jets, drones, bass, good times. See you, buddy. Well, this is our last run of the day. Got about an hour left to make something happen. In all, like if we don't catch another fish from this point on, it's been insane. Like literally one of the top days of fishing I've had all year. Not only did we get a double dig, but we got to crank some like really nice fish aside from that. Some nice strippers, some LM bizzles, nice little, nice little sp spotted largemouth cool looking fish Hybrid. and we got to do it uh, all in deep water in this little pre-spawn zone you know it's like you know, it's still cold like I keep saying just got up to like what 50 something degrees uh, should we show them the secret where we catch them on and we're whack 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 whacking them on the saucy swimmers with the umbrella rig absolutely c -c crushing them crushing them anyway last spot let's make it happen fingers crossed let's get a, a head a big old friggin head good day though Wow, that fish looked way bigger on the graph. All right, well, we got one. We got one before the day's done. The day's done, I can't, I can't even speak right now, I'm so tired. Did not sleep last night, by the way. This guy, though, he's wide awake. Ch -ch choked The South is swimmer. 3.8, green gizzy. It's the only color they make. No, I'm just kidding, it's my favorite, though. So I think that we uh, are possibly ending the day on a one pounder and begin the day on a 10 is quite insane. See you later, little stinky. My friend. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. That was such a good time. Always. I would have not come out here if Cole and Brax 
weren't fishing here yesterday and had a legendary day. And we came out here and had an, I don't know about equally, it was pretty freaking close. We caught a 10 pounder, it was my fifth double digit of the season of my entire life. 2022 has been nuclear, absolutely nuclear. And it has been so much fun to fish with some amazing people. Got to make a new buddy today. Hopefully Brax doesn't think I'm a complete idiot. He probably does, but maybe he still likes me. I don't know. But yeah, so much fun today. Again, if you guys are interested in picking up some South Sea swimmers, it's what has been catching all my double digits. It doesn't make any sense. It's absolutely insane. But I'll leave those links down below and do not forget to use the code John B right here to save 10% off your entire order. Everything. It'll be a $100 order, save 10% off. $1,000 order, save 10% off. But uh, we're peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the view and we'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.